Hey guys, how are you today? So basically in my last tutorial in this one, I used two textures, uh, two noise textures. So if I'll show you one is, let me just, one is this, this is just a blur noise texture. So I'll just take a snipping tool. Where is the snipping tool? So let's take this and another one is this one, this custom noise texture. So these two texture I used and lots of my subscribers asked me how to download this texture for free so we can use. So basically I have already some tutorials and all the files I put on Patreon and also I have a noise texture package on my Patreon. So if you just search here. Um, texture and you will find this video I'm making one and then this video and this video and there is also a noise texture package if I search maybe noise texture It should be somewhere. I, yeah, this one. So this is the package and it has lots of noise textures. So you can see there are lots of noise textures. Okay, so the link is here. So still, if you don't want to buy, you want to make it for free. So let's make one more time a free tutorial. And this time I will not fast forward anything. You will learn each stroke I use, each, each setting. And let's see how long it will take to make textures like this or like that. So this is quite simple, this one. So let me just open the Photoshop, take a new texture. I'll take this one, 1K, 1024, 1024 and 72 PPI. So I'll just create this. And for this one, I just take the black and white color here, press D. It will just default uh, color, use black and white. Then go here and in the render, take the clouds. And to hide these lines, Control H is the shortcut or you can just go here in the view and it is here in the show. There are lots of things you can hide or show. After using this, just use a Gaussian blur and that's it. So this is just a Gaussian blur. You have to just check the setting what you want. So this texture is just a blur texture. Okay, blur noise. So now come to the next this one so this is custom made noise texture so how to create this so you just have to keep that in mind you have to create a shape like this like this uh, you can say diamond shape or like a drop shape so just make a black background take a new layer take a brush decrease the opacity and i'm doing it randomly you don't have to put the same value or anything you can just do experiment and I'm using my mouse, so I'm not using any pen tablet. So just do it roughly. You don't need this thing, just disable it. Okay, so I'll just decrease this and make this a pattern like this. And then I'll continue from here and here and maybe here. And we can also make some here like this. Okay, after doing this, you have to just go into the filter, other and offset. And after doing offset in both horizontal and vertical, you have to like continue these uh, lines. So you have to just connect it here and maybe I'll connect it this one here. Maybe I'll connect this one here, this one here. So just go with the flow and I'll just make this one here. And I'll do the offset again and then I'll just do this one time, one more time. Yeah, so looks cool. Now I'll just make a little more opacity and make this even thinner. And if I press F5, brush settings, I don't need the smoothing. Okay. So I'll just make this. So I'm just doing it randomly. Not perfectly, just 
or devil my hair i'm just doing it roughly okay so and if you do like this tutorial and you have successfully created your own texture by watching this tutorial just subscribe my channel that will help me a lot so after doing this what i'll do i'll make the brush a little bigger shortcut is this these curly brackets or you can just right click and increase the size of your brush from here or you can also go here okay so i'll just change it a little big decrease it even more and make so this is spacing i'll fix it from here and just and also right click and i don't need any hardness i don't need any hardness so i'll just go very soft so now i'll make these and i'm again doing it very roughly so you don't have to we are like but you you can do experiments okay I'll just make it smaller, make it, and I'll do it again. Basically, you have to make a gradient from this point to the center of this one column, one separate uh, separate element. So I'm doing it now like this. And it's not like uh, when you will make it first time, so your result should not be, uh, maybe your result will not be very good, but you can do practice. So basically, uh, when I'm free and I don't have anything to do in Unreal Engine, I don't want to do anything. So in my free time, I make lots of noise texture. So it's it's fun. Just just sit and with your one hand, just draw random patterns and just make lots of uh, strokes. And it will be something that you will like eventually. So basically, after doing this, I'll offset it and I'll have to fix these things. So for that, you can just take this uh, smudge tool, reduce the strength and just merge these like this because texture should be tileable. Because you don't know in Unreal Engine how much tiling you want or how much you want to stretch this to make your magical effects. So make the tileable noise will be the better option for you so doing this now see this part is black here so i want to make a cool gradient so for that i'll just take this one more time i'll reduce these things and i'll make it bigger and i'll make this like this see i'm doing it roughly and it's making that gradient up to here and same thing i'll do here Cool. and same thing i'll do here and same thing i'll do here and let me just offset one more time and same thing i'll do here and let me just take a smudge tool and smudge these keep in mind the direction of your lines and use the smudge tool according to that direction so it will merge those perfectly cool now i'll take this one more time this time i'll increase little bit strength and make this little highlights here You can fast forward the video if like because I'm doing the same thing. So you now for the next step, you can fast forward right now. And so, so after doing this, I'll, I'll go to filter offset again. And here this gradient is missing. So I'll just make a gradient here and also here and here also. Yeah, my gradients proper. 
and one more thing i'll do i'll let's say you can take a new layer if you want and i'll increase the strength a little bit too high and i'll just make this thinner and make very like opaque lines because i think that was little blurry so i just want little contrast in it so okay everything is perfect i'll actually merge actually merge all the layers you don't need to separate offset this and yeah perfect and this time i'll just take a smudge tool a little carefully i'll just zoom and i'll just make this little carefully and make this perfect see check the direction of your lines like this direction i'm doing and if you'll see it is i'll just make this like this okay and here yeah everything is perfect now yeah this one yeah what i'll do next i'll just take a gaussian blur and little bit i'll add little bit gaussian blur maybe this much and let's check offset if everything is perfect and see the shortcut of the last filter is alt f control alt control left so I, i'll just check it again and again and everything looks fine this is tile level and the last thing you will do is here go to other and take this minimum and this is the cool part instead of a square use the round and just use how much you want to use and then you have to check the offset and if you have some issue take the smudge tool and this time zoom a lot and because this is your last part and do it very carefully like this so see like a magic lines gone lines gone and this one this one see don't uh, like uh, mess up with these lines like this line is on this line so i'll just very softly i'll do it from here and here i will not distort that line okay so that should be man should be maintained you can increase or decrease the width of your brush and just And I don't think it took me like more than 10 minutes, I guess. And in 10 minutes, you have a cool texture, tile level texture that you can use. So if I'll show you, this is tile level. And if I press Ctrl L, see how beautifully this will erode. See, this will look cool when you erode in Unreal Engine. Cool so this is it so uh this not exactly same of this it has lots of it's, it's a completely filled so for that you can actually control j duplicate layer and you can just blur it little bit maybe this much and take this screen mode then again control j and this time again take the blur this time more blur and screen but reduce the opacity and also i'll reduce the opacity for this and now you can merge all these all these merge then again you can go and take the minimum if you want little bit 
and that's it now it's kind of same and it will also resolve cool so i hope last time now you don't have any issue to create a text like this pattern you can decide you can take inspiration from other artists you can take inspiration from other stuff or something you have or you have a specific something you can create that shape and do the same thing it will just make this and that's it thanks for watching keep learning bye bye